Hello, I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon. And today, I've got a beautiful 1937 Ford Cabriolet to show you. Cabriolet means it is a convertible. So this is a convertible hardtop. And I'm going to talk to you about that in just a second. I want to show you the paint here. This is finished off in a color called Taurus Copper. It's got a little bit of metallic in it. It's got a, it's a base clear. It's got a nice, nice shine to it. And a little kind of contrasting uh, brighter orange pinstriping. So it sets it off. That goes around the entire belt line of the car. This is a Gibbons body. So this is a fiberglass composite body. Uh, it's sitting on a custom Outlaw, that's the brand, Outlaw uh, powder coated frame. So very nice build, very nice little hot rod. Uh, I'm going to show you most all of its attributes, although I'll probably miss a few because there's a lot to this car. But uh, let's just start by the passenger side interior here. This does have door poppers and they do work nicely. So finished off, the interior is finished off in this nice cream colored leather and it has been uh, embossed with this 37. And you've got some nice uh, billet aluminum poles and appointments here. This car, this car does have power windows and they work great. Uh, you can see it in the track here. I'll show you how they work later. But uh, these are the windows are all uh, surrounded by this aluminum trim, and you can see the whiskers and everything look nice. I'd say this build was uh, finished in around 2005, 2006, somewhere there. Um, uh, they've done a very nice job on it, and uh, I just want to show you, as a matter of fact, uh, they've got a lot of custom traits, obviously. I mean, these are Dakota Digital gauges here. This does have vintage uh, air, AC, and heat system. You can see uh, inside of the headliner, that's also got some nice uh, sculpture to it. Matches the interior. Seating is leather. And they articulate well, forward and backwards. You can move the, you know, the back of the seat. Very comfortable for road trips. Doors close nicely. Nice shut lines here. This is a Carson top, and uh, it's covered in this nice uh, tan canvas. It's a very nice quality top. Carson does make a nice top. But what this does, what you'll do here is you'll unbolt this top, set it aside in the garage, and then drive around in the convertible configuration. You wouldn't, obviously, it's not going to fold up and fit in the trunk, is what I'm trying to tell you. Um, got a glass back window with the nice chrome surround. Wheels and tires, uh, these are Eagle brand polished aluminum wheels. They're 16s. And They've got these nice radials all around. Car drives nice down the road. You can put the beading in here in between the fenders. Back in the trunk area, as you can see that, that uh, pinstriping going on around there. And your shut line for your trunk lid, very nice. Got recessed tail lighting there and dual exhaust tips. Now the trunk is on remote, or has a remote switch here. I'm going to open that up for you so you can see. Easy to open the trunk. And in the trunk here, uh, it's finished off as the interior. So you got these nice cream colored panels and whatnot. And you've got a little decorative. This is a, an actual uh, fire extinguisher with flames on it. And a TV. So this car... Uh, has a fairly elaborate audio system and it's, it's certainly above my pay grade to try and explain it all to you or even show you here how it functions. But I do have all of the uh, manuals and books and so forth that, that come with it and tell you how all that works. So if you're into that sort of thing, you know, that'll be uh, something for you to do. Uh, weather stripping, nice and pliable and painted nicely up under here. Shuts down nicely. 
to take a little moment to tell you a little bit about the website, westcoastcollectorcars.com, where I've got pictures of the Ford, of course, but I've got pictures of the undercarriage as well, so you can see that. See that frame, see the under uh, the underside of the car, the floor pans and everything. Very nice, very clean under there, dry. Uh, it's just black under there, looks good. Um, again, you know, power front disc brakes. Um, yeah, it's, it's a Mustang 2 front suspension. Uh, of course, this body sits down low, you know, on, on the frame, so it, it just has a nice low, lean look, which we all like. Take you in the interior on this side. Again, you know, nice beautiful door panels, nice quality carpeting, built aluminum pedals, all your controls and so forth are aluminum. You've got a tilt column here with this billet steering wheel and uh, horn works. But um, Now the engine in this car is a 305 small block Chevrolet and the transmission is a 700 R4 so you have overdrive. I saw a column shifted, and then the, the differential is a Ford 9 inch. So, you're probably not going to break this engine and drivetrain. I mean, it's just a you know, they run great. Those little 305s, man, they run excellent. And 700R4 cruise down the freeway, just idling down the freeway. And you know, that Ford 9 inch, as we all know, that's a tough one. Up front here, you got the, uh, this is a metal uh, 37 grill, teardrop headlights, of course, with your uh, turn signals in there. Now, I've already uh, pulled the uh, hood latch, so I wanted to show you the hood opens up this way, like this. You got a prop rod here, so you can, you know, work on it or show the, the engine, but I'm just going to hold it up, you know, for the purpose of the video. Now, uh, 305, again, uh, small block Chevy, polished aluminum manifold. You have coated headers down here. Uh, Mallory Electronic Distributor. This is your air conditioning compressor. Polished uh, aluminum alternator. Nice wiring with, of course, the newer style fuses and so forth. This is your overflow. Nice. So what I'll do now is I'll just hop in the 37, start it, you'll hear it run, hear it start, hear it run, and then I'm going to just, you know, kind of drive a little bit around the parking lot just so you kind of see what it looks like, you know, moving under its own power. Again, you know, fun car to drive, <laughs> easy to drive. Uh, yeah, so let's do that. We'll come back. We'll talk a couple more minutes.
by the way, lots of legroom in this car, and these seats are just pillow soft. They are so comfortable, and this leather is butter. I mean, it is nice. This is cool. If you want to take a road trip, this is the car right here. Uh, take it to a car show, cruise in, cruise into a, uh, go to a car show a long ways away, and just enjoy the drive. Get all the amenities you need. Yeah, it, this is uh, this is a sweet rig. Um, what else can I tell you? Again, aluminum uh, wipers, uh, power windows. I think I told you. I'll show you those real quick. You can kind of see. You know, they work good. Uh, but you know, if I can answer any further questions for you about this 1937 Ford Cabriolet, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, my name is Rich Dean and this is West Coast Collector Cars. My number is 503-851-6763 and thank you for watching today.